All right, welcome everybody, Camden County College Cougar Esports, bringing you some Valorant action. Thursday night Valorant, we haven't seen that. It's usually only Siege here, right? No, we are doing Valorant in the NJCAA. -E. It is the Cougars of Camden County versus the Bulldogs of Bergen Community College. So, love to see it. Um, both teams coming in with a successful start to their, to their years. Um, it is... Uh, the Cougars, though, with the edge, three and zero. Oh, Bergen, the Bulldogs, two and one. So at least one stumbling block there. So we'll see some lineups. Um, it's going to be Sova, Astra, Rays, Breach, and KJ for the Cougars. The Bulldogs hovering at least for the moment. Chamber, uh, who's fallen out of favor a little bit. Omen, Breach as well. Phoenix and Sova. So it will be the chamber lock-in. Not something you see as much lately. Certainly was popular, at least for a time. Um, so let's see how that all goes. Um, yeah, I, I would assume that So Adorable would be somebody that favors a sniper play with the chamber lock-in. I mean, Ascent is something, is maybe one of those few maps where chamber is still strong, holding down mid, um, certainly on the defensive side. So... We'll see how it all plays out. It will be Camden County starting on the defense. Getting things going, getting things started. And uh, Bergen County will be uh, playing on the attack. So it was last night, similar, uh, just to get everybody up to speed. If you're not following Valorant at Camden County right now, it's really one collective uh, group of nine people. It's box. all hands on deck every single night. So uh, last box. night, you're going to see some similar players that you saw from last Placing night, but not everybody. Not everyone available for both nights. Uh, but that said, we'll see how the, the Cougars respond. So it was definitely some of those players that were on there for what was definitely a blowout loss to Kaiser University flagship. So here we are. We're watching Bus. He's going to hear some some audio cues. A main, the raised grenade is going to come out. But the Phoenix was already on site. T Mercs. So Bus also tagged up here is going to have to get out of dodge. Just barely does 14 HP remaining. The site has been given up a pretty standard play on this A site. It's going to be all about the retake. So the dart will come out, and it's going to spot out a few. Those uh, classics not going to do all that much through the ground. Bus goes in, but with low HP, traded right back. Jupiter Kid with two, Lucy with another, and so adorable with a trademark below. Lucy gets that kill. Still one lurking. It's Cribs who has one kill, but he's going to have to have a whole lot more. Lucy with a triple kill. The retake for Camden County comes through as they will strike first. The all-important pistol round goes their way. And those are the retakes that we came uh, we came um, to be... We, we got used to. We got used to them last season we haven't seen as much of them um uh, you know the cougars maybe a little bit you know rushing things but that time not not so they they definitely took their time on the same page and they are up one to zero almost certainly going to be a, a buy and again we do see the specter we see an aries coming out placing swamp grenade sova still very strong in this position on b main Bus doing a bit of a jump peek, gets a little bit of intel, gonna back away. Out of and the door, the door between tree and A will go away right away. So not letting, not wanting to let the, the low um, economy get any sort of advantage. And right now the Bulldogs are, are hoping that the Cougars maybe get a little bit antsy. They are setting two up mid here. It has, it has been smoked off. See the Omen and the Astra. Oh, excuse me. It'll be the Omen and the Phoenix coming up. Jupiter Kid starts it off first. Cribs almost spotted out. Is finally spotted out. Ooh, the double P. Cribs did have the kill with the Ghost. Had the head tap. And Joker has his teammates back. Only one member for Cougars is, is down. There is a, a gun available for this breach. They should come and, and, and come select. Come pick it on up. Jupiter Kid knows about it. Low HP. Left. 
Oh, and timing is everything on this Breach Flash, and here it comes! Oh, wow! Kiko does get that Spectre Lucy lurking here. Gonna spot one. Shots are a little bit late. And now it's gonna come up to Joker and Lucy. They close it down. Some I got a little bit dicey there. Three members still alive, but if you're, not if you're the Bulldogs, uh, you're happy with that. You know, getting two, two kills is something. It'll at least keep you within striking distance, and they will be on the full buy, most certainly. Up I go. All right, so here we go. Here are the Bulldogs, sending three through B main. KJ turret spots them out, and Mercs uh, is gonna collect that, that ult orb. That was a bit dangerous. Surprised that the Cougars, I guess not really in position with the Spectre in hand for Lucy to, to punish that. No breach over here either. So they're gonna play Discipline. I like what I'm seeing from Cannon County, not giving anything away on on a rotation that's unnecessary. So Kiko wisely just peeks out into B, baits out a lot of utility. Jupiter Kid is also gonna get spotted. Only a frenzy in hand, by the way, which is definitely a trickle down effect of, um, of losing that gun from last round. So Bergen has an opportunity here on the full buy. They do send Lucy away. Joker falls mid. Juno caught in rotation and the B site is wide open. Three versus five. And exactly what I had been complimenting Camden County is exactly what they unfortunately are not able to do, which is stay disciplined. Bergen with a very methodical delivered approach gains access to the B site without losing a player. Lucy flashed up, no follow there. The smoke from the Omen is going to be very, very awkward. I don't see how the Cougars are going to be able to get in here. Possibly a raised satchel. They just wait for this Omen smoke to come down. But so many rifles are looking right here at this garage spot. Jupiter Kid does trade one back. A lot of utility coming through and any sort of damage they can deal will be huge. But only one will fall, only the chamber. Four remaining, and the uh, third round of the map goes the way of Bergen County. So we have a game, ladies and gentlemen. Usually it is that round three where we expect to see the sparks fly, right? We expect, you expect the loser of the pistol round to be able to bounce back there. If they're not able to do so, the game can get out of hand pretty quickly. So the fact that they're able to do that means that we'll probably be going the distance here. So 2-1, and we have the Bulldogs of Bergen County leaning heavily toward the A site here. And the Phoenix is gonna use ultimate bus, caught with some utility out, Jupiter Kid. It suspects Kiko and has the kill. You want to play? Let's play. Phoenix ultimate no longer available. You know, peeks out the smoke, doesn't have the kill, does some damage, but doesn't have the headshot. Spike planted. Oh, and Mercs not looking the right way. Timing is everything, and this might actually be disadvantaged Camden County. Will they suspect? Jupiter Kid will! And Mercs off the board. Three versus three. Breach ultimate still is available. Will they invest it here? Chamber ultimate in Overwatch from A main. So, of course, the Breach ultimate would get him off that position. So they're gonna get a cup. I don't think that hit anybody but Cribs. Just Joker versus Parmesan. I wish Joker had a cheese name. It'd be the Battle of Cheeses here, but oh my goodness, has the kill. I think he's got time as well. We'll be very, very close. But with 0.57 seconds, and what a hype play from Joker. Parmesan, a little bit of a throw, didn't need to jump over the box there. I think easily could have played it a little bit more conservatively, but Camden County, the beneficiary, going up 3-1. And what was really a, a, you know, a pivot round could have gone either way. 
So three versus uh, three to one, and a 5v5 here. Of course, to start round five, getting ready to get started, and a bit of a standard spread across the map here from both squads. We see Joker lurking mid. Kiko gonna get aggressive, gonna be droned in by the Sova drone. And probably got a stun onto the Rays. On bus all the way back here, only with a ghost in hand. Of course, the ghost can make a whole lot happen. Jupiter Kid whips the shot, and the Cougars are falling across the map. Of course, they were in, a, even dis, in uh, despite the round win. They are in a very much a budget buy, just upgraded pistols across the board. Here comes you know Sheriff in hand. Will they look the right way? I don't Last think so. So adorable claiming that one. And it's just going to be Lucy who's going to be trying to find something and does. Any more here would just be a bonus. 3-2. And like I said, everybody, we have a game. Take a look at ultimates. We have Astra and Sova both with ults available. Uh, will only be Omen on the part of Bergen County. The Omen, Omen ultimate... Not really, th I mean, it's an intel ult, or is it a, you know, is it a bit of a misdirection ultimate? Not the strongest ult in the game. We'll take the Astra and Sova ults all the time. So Jupiter Kid uh, is poised to peak this here. He's going to see all five. If he does take a peak. Thought about it for a moment. A whole lot. We see, I was going to say, Kiko coming in. The stun comes out. We'll slow them. You know here, also on A, to help defend. He's actually <laughs> closed his teammate off, who gets swung on. And now just, just you know, on A. Muscle gets the swing, gets the headshot, immediately traded right back. Oh, and Lucy needed that one, and now it's just going to be, you know, lurking here in hell. They know he's somewhere. They know he's on site. They actually opt to go away from the KJ. A complete misdirection, not something you see a whole lot. They're going to be running right into the Astra, who is now is sitting in B main, Joker. So he's going to get this intel. He's going to hear it. He's going to get smoked off as well. They don't know, Bergen, where the Cougars, uh, the Cougars are. Oh, and I love this little lurk from the chamber. So adorable, you don't expect this! And you know certainly didn't either. I like this misdirection play. I don't know, I probably would have had Joker put up some resistance. He might just be thinking about the save here, taking the Vandal into the next round. This is going to be a little bit too much utility. Too many rifles pointing in his direction. Oh, but opts into the fight. And Mercs is ready, 3-3. Three, three. Bergen has bounced right back on the attack. Right here. We're seeing some elegant designed uh, attack rounds here from Bergen. Changing it up, it hasn't really, it hasn't been predictable. We do see the off, the operator in the hand of Kiko, who almost certainly gonna be looking mid. With that, possibly taking it to look at uh, heaven on A. But regardless, uh, the they have switched up tempo quite a bit. It's been a, a mass rush. It's been a split. And right now, here comes that mass rush. Mercs flashes out. Gets the kill on the bus. You know as well with the kill. Mercs has to reposition because of the breach utility. The aftershock coming down. And it's just pistols, pretty much, for Camden County, so they probably won't be investing a whole lot more. Might just be looking for exit frags, as a matter of fact. Super Kid is going to get droned in. They will flash out, trying to find a kill. Fishing, and he will fish. He lands him, hooks him, reels him in. Just trying to deal some economic damage. Are they going to expect cribs here? They won't with a double kill. Three to four. Five more rounds on this half. So Camden County will be buying now fully into this this round for sure. I should play some Astro Sun. Turret out. 
And it's a change up again. I mean, look at if we take a look at this, it's um it's gonna be Bergen swapping over to the B site. Actually, it's still split, so they continue to change things up. Merc's gonna take the, the Phoenix ultimate here, spots out one, looks for another, unfortunately, Lucy looking the wrong direction. You know, does get the Phoenix ult off the board, but it won't matter. Parmesan! Wall headshot. Joker gets a kill that he absolutely had to have, but the breach is is lurking from behind. He's gonna get both of them. It's actually a knife, a disrespect, which will turn into a, a kill. So a two versus three. Kiko could have had all of uh, Definitely could have had both of them. Oh, and no. Don't say it ain't so. Two knife kills in the same round. Jupiter Kid going to need a lot. Can't find one. So Bergen County, the Bulldogs, with some BM. I don't think that's gonna sit well for with the Cougars. As a couple of them slip the net there, Lucy gonna think about the marshal. One second, peeps. I gotta visit the Astral to play some fun. So three to five. The Bulldogs with momentum in this one. Map one, of course, a best of three set, so it could go the distance. Utility, the breach ultimate comes down. Only gonna find one, but it will be a pivotal kill as Tree is now wide open. Here comes Bus, who's going to be swinging on the off. Who is ready? Parmesan as well with a kill. Ooh. Well, okay. I, was, I thought that was a headshot for a moment. It's not, but a kill nonetheless. Lucy, who's gonna have to continue to run for the hills as Merks has taken a position. And now just the specter stands between Camden County and the loss. Juno finds on finds many, but he's gonna have to contend now with the Sova ultimate. And that's gonna push Sova back, but unfortunately, Sova again has ult, so this is gonna be interesting here. There they are. Gets spotted out. Can he at least at least gets the Sova ultimate baited out, which is a victory. I don't think Juno has the time. But if he can get the kill, that might just be enough. So a round that uh, looked like it was going to be an easy win for the Bulldogs actually um, gets a little bit dicey there. They do have to invest the Sova ultimate just to guarantee the round. So there is that. The, the Cougars able to salvage just a little bit of something toward the end. Have a timeout. Timeout going on. Both teams wanting to. Actually, not sure who that was there. Okay, it was the uh, defender timeout. So the Cougars know three rounds left. They're staring at um, possibly going down as they swap sides to the second half. So trying to stop the bleeding here. So 3-6, the Cougars have three ultimates available. Chamber has invested his ultimate here. So where will the Chamber op be lurking? It looks like uh, possibly You want to main. play? Let's play. A lot of activity and that's what the Cougars needed, which was to get first blood. We haven't seen it in a little bit, in a little bit of time. Bust with a kill as well and now big advantage as Parmesan throws a hail of bullets. Oh, wow, I got leg did bus. And Chamber, so adorable, so low. The Cougars getting aggressive in mid, claiming space, taking space. So they're not in any hurry. 
are, uh, are the Cougars. Uh, really, I mean, the Bulldogs shouldn't be either. Buss has to be careful here. Swing is at the wrong time. Oh, he's going to get Parmesan with some utility in hand, but can't get the kill through the wall. Parmesan gets that kill. This so Joker has a couple lined up. He finds two, looks for a third, and it's going to be four in the round. Joker, Quadra kill, kind of claim the Odin, probably going to be gifted right on over to the, uh, the ally, the Camden County Sova player, I would think, but we'll see. In fact, it is, so it'll be Lucy hanging out, I think. Well, actually, no, uh, I was gonna say possibly B main, which is a, a classic play, but the Cougars thinking about more about mid than anything else. Um, so four Bulldogs leaning toward A main, Chamber lurking mid, does have Vandal in hand. Bus swings on it. I mean, uh, the Cougars have to be careful here. Of course, Jupiter Kid. Oh, wow. Kiko going so low. Bus shutting down that Phoenix ult, but now Phoenix knows the way is open. A is open for business. Oh, will, will Chamber have the timing? He will. He swings on a few, but doesn't get any kills, which is huge. Three ultimates available. I think Cameron County's gonna have to invest in this round. Oh, and Lucy just making, just uh, tearing victory from the jaws of defeat a couple times here. And timing is working for the for the Cougars here. Cribs left alive underneath, has two, is gonna need a whole lot more, finds a third, but it would have had to have been an ace to win that round six of five. And wow, so adorable there. You ha had an opportunity, you could see it on the map. I had an opportunity to to swing and get at least two, got Last none. Round in the so a bit of a whiff there. I, I think that we could have seen um, the, the, the Bulldog Breach as well get a kill, didn't happen. Lucy was just ready for it, so. Of course we saw Astra Ultimate invested. So that is something to, uh, to be mindful of. And the Omen Ultimate still on the board for the Bulldogs, a tough ultimate to use. I mean, I would use it just for intel. At least to get something started. Revealing oh, and Lucy is gonna find one. Maybe. Surprise, he's getting pinged out here. He's doing some damage. And here comes, you know who's gonna have to have a lot of finds too. And the way is still shut, at least for the moment. Cribs finally does use ultimate, gets to the back of sight. No ammo left in the, in the Vandal. As Cribs gets that kill, three versus three. Ray's ultimate on the board and available. Bus almost spots out. Spots out the Phoenix. There's Mercs. Oh, gets swung on. Does some damage. Parmesan making sure that nothing gets started yet. On the part of the Cougars. Again, that ultimate no longer available. Ray's dies with it. Doesn't take it to the next half. Oh, and Cribs. With the swing, Jupiter Kid gets pinged out, and this is a tough spot to be. Does have a complement of flashes and utility to work with. He's gonna push some people up their spots, but a tough spot to be, 5-7. So the Bulldogs taking a lead as they swap sides here. Bulldogs had, an, like I said, a very elegant attack, um, varying tempos, varying locations. I feel like you see a lot of teams fall in love with one or two plays. That wasn't the case uh, for them. So let's see, as we swap sides with the Cougars, will they be doing the same thing? And right now, favoring four, leaning toward A. You know, going to be lurking mid here. They do get splashed on the one way, yields a trade. One for one, Joker getting that kill, Kiko with one as well. So they'll be sending Sova, the rotation's coming out here pretty quickly. Sova at least gonna take some space mid. There is Yuno, who is just waiting to find something. Of course, he's gonna have Parmesan and Mercs looking his way. 
as the cougars just slink away. And there, oh, gets just, I think that was a headshot with, no, it was not. Well, it may have been, it has ghost in hand. Should have been a kill unless it was through the wall. A little odd. But big damage dealt, you know, is low. So adorable, the last remaining player from Bergen County on B. But with this teleport, can make things happen. Will they know to look in this this spot? An Thirty odd, seconds left. An odd spot. Some utility and smokes coming down. Standing ahead. They're gonna know, but they're not gonna know about so adorable Spike who down. gets two. Well, excuse me, Parmesan with two. So adorable with one. Oh, and well, just swings out of the smoke. Flex that kill. Five eight. Pistol round going their way. So five eight, not out of control just yet, but teetering a couple more rounds. And suddenly 510. You're gonna need to start playing perfect. Parmesan hanging out. He's gonna get a peek from Kiko, who then probably is gonna be starting to spam. He will. Bus looking mid again. The Cougars are only with pistols, so they're not gonna be advantaged here. Bus throws the raise grenade. He's gonna be doing big damage and gets the kill onto Parmesan, but so adorable. Bulldog. A bulldog in the hand of a bulldog. Ooh, a choker. The right click on the classic nearly gets that kill, but it'll be four for so adorable. Right there. Right there. So this would be the round, just like we saw the Bulldogs able to do the first half of play, which is to get that bonus round in hand. So the Cougars are, um, have all the pressure in the world on them now to start to get some momentum back. They started off so well in this map. And it's an aggressive push on the defense here. They're not going to spot anybody out. Rotations. Um, well, the, the defenders just just uh, holding their spots mostly. It's actually so adorable. Who's Look holding like no is. angle, by the way, in mid? Actually, just hanging out, waiting to be called upon, perhaps. Kind of an odd situation. Don't see that a lot. But regardless, uh, they're just hanging out, ready to be the extra man when needed. Kiko might get spotted out here. Kiko knows about bus. Probably heard the satchel. But I think they just walked up there, so just uh, has the wherewithal. Useless individual. Concealment, concealment. Four versus four. So adorable making it a three versus four. Thirty seconds left. Placing swarm grenade. Swarm grenade, placing swarm grenade. Swarm grenade out. So the Cougars will get on the site. Flash out. There won't be anybody at home. But the uh, as they as they rush in, so adorable Ten collects that left. kill. The spike oh, won't wait. even get planted. Spike down. Five Beat. seconds remaining. Jupiter Kid gonna have to have both of these kills here. And I think they're just thinking about taking the Vandal to the next round. Six bullets left. And Cribs will make it so that isn't meant to be. Ten to five, as the Bulldogs have absolutely taken control in this one. Kiko gonna get spotted out here. Oh, but Bus, the aggressor, 
Cribs hanging out here in the A main entrance. He's gonna get droned out here. Oh, Lucy actually not gonna see him, I don't think. So Bus is not gonna know about this. He goes in, but Cribs is waiting, biding his time. Finds him finally. The calls come out, but it's too late. This has become a bloodbath. Joker flashed. Mercs with the kill. Five eleven. The Bulldogs absolutely now in control here. It was a it was a budget round, just some utility for Camden County. So now, well, we actually we did see a judge, so it was a mixed buy, I should say, because there's only going to be a Spectre for Bus now. There should be some rifles across the board, though, for everybody else. It appears that it is. Of course, Parmesan going to be the, the lone lone individual taking something not a, a vandal. It's pretty common for the Sova player on a set. Mercs. He's gonna find one, but only the one. The spike will finally go down here, and the Bulldogs will just wait patiently. Waiting to get everyone in place. We see Omen lurking from behind. It is Jupiter Kid that's gonna hold the angle as well. The Cougars have the backs turned. Well, not quite. They're not going to know about this omen, so that's going to be a little bit scary. Raze does have the showstopper available. Oh, and it could come down to this timing here. He finds one, but doesn't get more than that, which is pretty huge, but a lot of intel now gained. They don't know about Lucy, who's going to get pinged out. Unfortunate. So only these two. Ult comes down. And I don't think they have the time. The Cougars will be able to put on the brakes. Nobody surviving into what is going to be round 18. So round 18, the Cougars do what they need to do, which is to stop the bleeding, but they have a lot of work left to be done. Just trying to figure it out. The attack hasn't been as kind to them as it was for Bergen County. Kiko is just ready, holds the angle, finds another, the you sheriff, yielding some results. Oh, so adorable, just barely getting that kill. Take flight. They're trade Sova drones, but here comes Cribs from behind. It's an absolute pressure cooker. As now. The Bulldogs are on map point. Map point. Map one getting ready to go their way. So it will be Kim County meeting six in a row to force overtime. And that is a tall order. We are, especially what's going to be a budget buy. We see the Aries. We see a Marshall. Right there. Oh, they get a number of them get spotted out and they have gone aggressive. Joker's gonna hear all these footsteps here. Breach ultimate gonna be used, not gonna find anybody. As Bergen is out for blood here, Jupiter Kid is sure to get picked off. And does, and that is unfortunately the spike. So a kill, but I think that's all it will be. As Lucy puts the puts the Sobel ultimate down, but it'll be too little too late. Win. 13 to 6, the Bulldogs taking map one. Alright, so um, as we saw, 
the Cougars uh, dropping map one in uh, what was fortunate fashion. It looked to be that they were in. Um, they were in. They had a lot of control early on, but uh, just kind of slipped away as things got going. Uh, so everybody, we will have map two for you here in just a little while. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, map two coming up. Uh, the Bulldogs up one to zero, looking for one more to win uh, week four and get to improve to three to three and one. So see you soon.
All right, welcome back everybody. Camden County College Cougar Esports map one went the way of Bergen. And now we see at least one change to the lineup here. It was, uh, yeah, so Juno will be in for Juno. Playing the Reina, by the way, which I'm not sure if that, is that a, is that a limit test? I mean, Reina in 5v5 comp uh, doesn't, is not favored really at all, uh, but comes out here. Juno going to select this, so maybe wants to get to get an advantage here. Or maybe senses uh, just an aim advantage against the Bulldogs of Bergen County. So um, otherwise, it will be the same lineups here. Uh, we do see the Viper coming out as well. Chamber. Again, actually two Reinas. I Surely there's just uh, an Icebox Reina situation that I'm not familiar with. I see both of them. Uh, the Cougars here will be on the attack, heading into A, the Viper Wall by Cribs, who was playing Omen last time. Oh, going to get spotted. That will, uh, I was going to say, that could be a little bit dangerous. Juno swings on Cribs, gets the right click in his face. The opposing Reyna is lurking very quickly from behind, so this could get into a bad situation, but Bus has the kill. Can he get any more? No. Two fall for just only one. Two versus four, and now a one versus four. Jupiter Kid spammed through the Viper Wall, and the defuse going to be coming out very quickly. So the pistol round in the way of uh, in the way of Bergen. So it's, uh, it starts like it ended with a bulldog victory. So the Cougars in no particular hurry, of course, will only have pistols here in the second round, this save round for them. And as they look to get a little bit aggressive, there goes Juno with the kill. That was the Reyna. We had talked about Mercs off the board. Parmesan trading it right back. One suppressed. So uh, doesn't pick up the, I think it was a Spectrum. So it is at least available for somebody. This Parmesan is ready for that. Juno has gone lurking and gets tagged up. Headshot with Spike the Ghost. And it's four, the Marshal claiming four Parmesan. And here we go. This is the round. Put up for short up time. And look at that Reina rotation all the way from B. All so quickly. Aggressive on the rotations. Are the Bulldogs for County? And here goes Juno through the Viper smoke. Going to find him, but doesn't have the shot. Had the right idea. Joker with two, which will give sight control, at least for the moment, over to the Cougars. Bus spots out one. And here comes Reina. No, I think that back so adorable is uh, picked off here. Two versus one with the oh, Bucky in hand. Bust just needs to get really close here. Lucy locking it down. That got a little bit dicey. These rounds close. And it just seems like everything is, is breaking the way of the Bulldogs. A lot of the momentum on their side. Even that round got a little bit too close for comfort. But, uh, you know, they... Uh, you know, uh, as as they say, uh, man, I almost got that incorrect. 
almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. That's the thing I was looking for. Back to the matter is, the round goes the way of Cameron County. So two to one. Jupiter Kid gonna get us started off quickly here. Cribs. Spawn. Switches up his Spike position. Takes two, which is all that really matters there. And a quick rotation again on the backside. There's Kiko with that quick rotation. My God, the angle. Slicing it very, very tight. Oh, it gets, it gets stunned up here. So this is going to get awkward very fast. Two on either side of Cannon County. Lucy and Juno, the last two remaining, hoping that they can find somebody walking into their crosshairs. Their back's up against each other. They'll cover both angles. Kiko going to spot out one. Mercs as well here. Does he have any utility? Doesn't appear to. Utility was out for Lucy. So slow. Juno trading it back. But there's just too many angles to check. Here. Some wild crosshairs, by the way. Could be memeing. Could be some memeing going on on the bulldog side. Not sure those are serious crosshairs, but regardless, got to make your shots either way. The marshal going to be forced up here for bus. So we'll be fishing for some sort of. Uh, I want to say a miracle play, but that we'll be looking for something. Spotted out, shot up a little bit. We'll get away, I think. Oh, wow. Couldn't really move, but uh, Juno gets gets busy on the backside here. And Lucy getting a kill as well. So uh, the Bulldogs may be a little bit over aggressive, but the Cougars are going to guess wrong here. We're walking right into the rotation. They will find Mercs alone. Who finds one, and if he can get any more, it would be huge. Does die. He actually dies to the grenade, the KO grenade. Three versus two. You will not kill my ally. Look at a four no versus two. Remaining. Now a four versus one. Um, I mean, that tells you everything that, that you need to know, really. The Cougars feeling they need to invest that ultimate at that time. Bust in a weird situation. Spike will go down. Spike down. Not Beat. sure if that was the sage wall they were looking for, but it won't matter. Could have been awkward with a um, with a few more uh, rifles in play, but nonetheless, the Cougars bounce right back. But as I was saying, um, it, it's it's uh, the Bulldogs a bit over aggressive, uh, no doubt. Maybe sensing that they can really you know, step on the gas, get this one in hand. But it did cost them that time, so we'll see if they stay a little bit more disciplined. Henceforth. Well, it's going to be hanging out here. Does see the chamber peeking for just a moment. Works as well to watching this angle. From that tunnel window. He's going to spot Cribs. Oh, man. It's going to be a tough shot, but he has it. Jupiter Kid ready for Cribs. And again, the over-aggression from the Bulldogs costing them... Bulldogs certainly can't afford to get aggressive now. It'll be Mertz, who has ultimate available. The lone defender on B. So adorable hanging out as well. Oh, breach ultimate. The timing is there. One gets away. What else can he get? Mertz. Uh, critically traded back, but so adorable with two. Spike down. When the Bulldogs need it the most, Jupiter Kid keeps the round alive. Spike is down, but available. So adorable, alive, but not for long. Three kills for Jupiter Kid. Sova Ultimate is available. Likely gonna come down here. Gonna try and waste as much time as possible. Gets it down and lives. Unbelievable. Low health bar on Jupiter Kid, but they have to know where Parmesan's coming from. Of course, the Sova ultimate was a tell. Lucy gonna get pinged here, but only Lucy. So they can just play together, play it slow. It's really be all they really need to do. No need to do anything crazy here. No need to really peek them. 
Let the servo come to you. They have, they have the, the cross angle as well. Ooh, Lucy gets tagged up. Very close. A lot of ways for Parmesan to look. And they finally close it down. But you can tell the Cougars um, seem to be a little bit uh, skittish. Um, some of these plays are coming out. Um, they're not, pl even though it's 3 3, it's it's definitely Bergen that's the, the more confident team right now. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Uh, possibly overconfident. And again, we did see it cost them two rounds in a row. And it's going to be a budget buy, it looks like. I mean, it's so oh, adorable. Gee. does have ultimate out, so they don't need to buy, of course. Uh, so maybe, well, it's going to be a mix. It's going to be kind of a mixture all around. There is still a Vandal out, but only the one, I think. Judo should have seen that barrel. Wasn't looking the right way. Going to spot it now. Comes on down, does some good damage to Kiko, and gets the kill. So, again, I mean, I think that's fair to say that that is another situation where the overaggression from the Bulldogs has cost them. The Viper ult is down here in B main. Um, and so that will pretty much shut this, this uh, avenue of attack off. So we see Mercs being sent here away, not needing to be on B at all. Of course, they're not watching mid. They could go behind the, uh, the Cougars, but at least uh, the Bulldogs assume and suspect that it's going to be her on A. It'll be uh, an odd, uh, maybe five versus three. They've got a numbers advantage. The Viper won't be there for some time. So advantage Camden County. Maybe that's what they're sensing. Bulldogs might have sent three here, trying to maximize their chance. Parmesan goes low, gets taken off. Another kill from Boss and Jupiter Kid as well. And here comes the Viper, who, who I don't know if I... It was a weird round. I don't know. The discipline from, um, from Bergen, not quite there. That's a round where they invested two ultimates, the Viper ultimate and the Chamber ultimate. And what was a weird, again, mixed by some stingers, some, some vandals. Not sure if that was the look, but certainly not going to be looking to save that stinger, and Bus will be the beneficiary. Three kills for them. Attack when they're suppressed. I cut their options, they make mistakes. Three, two, four. The Cougars with an advantage here. It was a similar advantage in map number one that then slowly evaporated. Uh, they've sent, uh, they being Burton County, has sent uh, the arena. Well, actually, the arena has been playing this, this spot uh, quite often. Uh, we see Juno here moving on up. Trying to spot something. Again, the, the Cougars have learned to expect and suspect some aggression on the defensive side from the Bulldogs. They're not going to find it this time. The Bulldogs now, with the with all the long rifles, going to play it a lot slower. Pretty disciplined. So a 2-1-2 two, a two, two split on the defense here on Icebox. Neither team uh, really doing all that much just yet. Just waiting for the other team to walk into their crosshairs. As the breach stun comes out, that might be an opportunity now, knowing that it won't be there to slow them down. 30 seconds left. As the Cougars look to get aggressive, bust the point man. First one in, was rough. spots out Crips for just this one second. Who has flashed? Gets that kill. Wall comes down, Juno with that one as well. So adorable though. I can slip the net for just a moment. Oh my goodness, Lucy with the tap and uh, it's Kiko from behind. It's been the, the flanking player. Three versus two, but so adorable looking to turn this advantage into even numbers that they won't. And now just up to Kiko on the Reina. No, re not a lot of tools to get into this Viper wall. Of course, they do have the blind, but it's going to only be nearsighted and everybody is pretty much nearsighted when in the Viper, the Viper pit. There it is, Lucy getting that kill. So tough for Kiko to turn that one. Three to five, the Cougars now.
With the advantage. Um, so let's, uh, yeah. All right, hey, let the moods look good. The Cougar Esports Arena. I have a lot to feel good about, of course. Three to five. And uh, it's almost certainly going to be, let's see, what will the, the defenders invest into this round? Oh my goodness, the observer treating us. So very cool. Tune in for future streams, everyone. It'll only get better. Kiko getting the opening kill. As Kiko has moved around, peeking at both A and B. So adorable, going to be aggressed on by Juno here shortly. As he goes and moves, oh, there's so adorable getting that kill. And now, with only three members remaining, I think the Bulldogs will get back to being aggressive. Audio cues being heard for sure. Viper wall will come down. This is going to be a little too much. They're going to have to get some some kills early here. The Viper wall is up. Joker. Oh, gets aggressive and they get two and make it three. And suddenly what seemed to be an unwinnable round is very much winnable as the spike looks to go down. It is down. Joker in a weird spot. Mercs gets two and make it three. Spike was planted and the Cougars had an advantage there, but Mercs takes advantage. Some low health bars, I think, as well, and just some nutty aim. Didn't even need to invest the, the breach ultimate. Which um, is huge. I kind of expected to see it come out. And it's going to be Breach and bring an ultimate for both of these squads. So 4 5, very much a tight, uh, tight competition here. is going to know at least where Kiko is, is, which is going to alert Juno that Kiko is not on B this time. Kiko has been the more aggressive player for Bergen. Spike dropped. So 4-5, again, very close. These, these, middle, these middle rounds here almost certainly will be the decider. Cougar's hoping to go into the half with a lead. Three more rounds, including this one, to, to make that reality so adorable. Thinking about the swing, thinks about the swing, but it would run into a number of rifles. The Cougars will go into A here. They're going to be running into Cribs. And they're not looking the right way, but do they have the kill? They do. The flash was there. They get the opening kill and the second. And now on a five versus three and no flanking Reina this time. So the Cougars can all look toward CT. Marjan at least gets the gets a start and Juno though, not to be outdone, finds two at the third of the round. There. For you. And here comes Joker, finds that headshot as well. Parmesan silenced. Six to four. Two more rounds to go. A lot of ultimates to play with. Um, five uh, across the board for both squads. Now Lucy, Lucy uh, with, with the Sage Ultimate, Sage Ultimate, and I think Sage Ult almost always, at least for me, favors the attacker side. A little bit easier to use that, because um, typically you're going to, as you push, it's going to be a numbers advantage for you. So a little bit easier to lock that down. So adorable here. I'm going to be uh, holding this spot in Kitchen. And it's oh, we go, and that's what we have to see. Joker getting the aggressive Reyna 
very early in the round. And so the, the Cougars uh, could look to change up the tempo here. Cribs not ready to move off of A. Going to hang out there with the Viper. Some utility being used. They know that the yellow box is clear, so they only have to look far away here on the B site. Juno comes in, spans the wall. Not going to find Parmesan. Excuse me, so adorable. Spike coming out, and Joker will just eat that there. Um, you know, I mean, listen, you get the spike down, it does cost you your life. Uh, Sage Ultimate is available. So, um, well, so many Cougars looking this direction. Bus in a tight spot, does get the kill, sitting in the Viper. Snake bite. Off your feet! Oh, and the Breach Ultimate comes out. The Cougars, knowing that this is the round, they have to get aggressive. And Juno finds a second. And make it three. And only the Breach Ultimate needed to be uh, invested there. Um, and I think, I, I love it. I mean, I, I think, I, I'm a big believer, if you ever play Valorant with me, you'll hear me say uh, Ultimates to win rounds. I think, even though it was it necessary, who knows? I love its use. And now the Viper Ultimate is available for the Cougars as well. Uh, Sage and Reyna. I mean, if I'm Reyna, this is the last round, you know, if I get a kill early, or if I'm taking an aggressive peak early, I think I'm ulting almost right away. So all eyes on Juno, because again, you're not taking it to the next round. You might as well get aggressive. Might decide to wait until the later part of the round to use it. to seven so the cougars guaranteed to take a lead but would love it to be a four round lead coming four eight so the swap size would certainly be advantageous and five seven doesn't feel all that bad if you're the bulldogs um with how the rounds had started it almost looked like they were going to run away with this one but as you can tell by the score line that did not happen Boys very disciplined off. defense Way back, way back are the Bulldogs. Not, uh, this is not even posturing aggressively. Possibly the most passive we've seen them. And Kiko, or excuse me, um, the uh, Bulldog Breach player, there. his name escapes me. I think I saw an off in hand. Also up. Uh, did I say an off? That's a Vandal. Left. Wall comes down. No breach. Uh, well, actually, there is a breach ultimate available, which I think is going to be utilized here at some point. But here it comes. The Bulldogs will look to get aggressive. The Viper Pit, of course, is still there. Team Ertz with that kill. Viper ult is now gone off the table. Bus gets that kill. Only six seconds remaining. They're going to have to get this spike down. And I don't think they have the time. And they certainly don't have the kills regardless. So five, seven. Bulldogs Switching sides. put up a fight at the very end. That was a tough one for Cam to I felt like advantage uh, uh, in their, in, you know, in their favor. But at the end of the day, the breach ultimate, when used correctly, is a tough one. So uh, Bulldogs do what they need to do. They claw back into this fight. So this um, this pistol round is huge. I mean, it's, it's you, most pistol rounds are big. I think just based off how these teams are playing, it was the Bulldogs confident, especially in the second half of map one. Map two, feeling very confident to start. Started to lose some of that momentum. That round at the final, uh, the final round of the first half, if it turns into a pistol round win as well, you have to start to think that they're gonna feel a little bit better. So they're doing what the, uh, the Cougars never did, which was uh, advance mid. So Joker is going to be here playing. Spots him out. Going to put the snake bite down. And Kiko jumps out the, the window. Oh, it's just buzzing. Kind of a tight spot. So mid, mid control, absolute on the side. Bulldogs, it's going to be a one for two trade. Make it a one for three, only two remaining. Oh, this could be interesting. Lucy spots out Cripps, who's carrying the spike. Last player standing. Jupiter Kid gets pushed on here. So adorable. 
Doesn't have that kill there, so Lucy will at least have a snowball's chance in hell, but maybe just about that with uh, a ghost in hand and uh, half HP. So if the headshots are there, Lucy's got a shot. Oh my goodness, gets tagged up. I think they actually did spot it. It's a really tough angle. Spot it. Lucy just in an absolute really tough spot. Kiko wants to find the, the, the knife possibly, but it'll just it'll have to settle for the pistol round win. It will knot us up most certainly at seven apiece here. You never know if uh, the defenders can get somebody to walk into a classic right click or something. Things can happen. So Bust will get aggressive as a matter of fact. Kiko is ready for it, but look at that. We as we talked about. Oh, and Juno's going to get a rifle for their trouble. But it won't yield much other than some some uh, rifles that we know for sure will make it through, and that almost got a little bit interesting there. Jupiter Kid. I mean that's a huge I mean that's a that's advantage Camden County in that round, I'll tell you that. That's seven seven. But a lot of vandals won't make it to the next round. So um We'll take it. We'll take it if you're a fan of Camden County here. So this is it. Do that economic damage. Now it's time to convert it. Just a guardian and a bulldog, I think. So they're gonna Oh, and the Vandal will come out. So but it won't be a full buy across the board. So economically, advantage Camden County. A lot of intel gained. Bus going to be looking toward this this tunnel window. Juno is the one that ends up with the kill. Ooh, and Bus spots one out, and Juno with a second. Bus fishing for this headshot. Finds a lot of shoulder, not a lot of the cranium, unfortunately. Oh, Merc's lurking here. Does have control of the B site, but not for very long. So it will just be Parmesan. Next time, and Bus will machine. lock that one down. Seven to eight. And the Cougars do what they need to do. And I mean, I think that was all because of that aggressive defense that we saw with those classics. It wasn't a round win, but it certainly trickled down into one. We'll see. Um, it will be a full buy, mostly, I think. I want here. Here. For Bergen, I think so. We do, yeah. So, here we go. There, you, there will be all in. Uh, surely a save after this if it doesn't happen. And they'll do what we haven't yet seen them do, which is push into A. Three defenders here are waiting. Juno, actually, well, it's Bus. They're both looking in the same direction. Bus collecting the kill. The rotations have come out as they played aggressive. Bus and Juno with two. Juno with another one. And their defense has firmed up here. Seven to nine. Now, I think it's, it's going to be a, a save, I think. Oh, the marshal. So yeah, pretty much a, a save. It'll be marshals and sheriffs. Which, I mean, listen, anything's possible. If you're gonna get a thrifty, it's gonna be with those kinds of weapons. The one tap headshot, still pretty powerful. And Jupiter Kid will be in their in their sights pretty quickly here as they lean toward the B site here, long B. And walking into that many sheriffs and a marshal could be pretty dangerous. So all eyes will be on Jupiter, at least for the moment. Just wisely just jump peeks. Sees the Soba drone come out. Thinks about the stun. Oh, almost got uh, tagged up there by the Soba drone. Play, let's play. Okay, well, uh, and, and Bergen right there. Uh, surely does want to play. Investing the chamber ultimate. 
I mean, they're an aggressive team. Um, there is certainly not a passive play about them. Jupiter Kid gets tagged, at least for this for a moment. Camden County doesn't see the site very well, so as you can see, Juno needing to stay on A. They haven't seen just how many Bulldogs here have come onto site. They can suspect, but they don't know it's the whole team. Lucy gonna get the heal out. And the Cougars in no particular hurry, given the, fa given the uh, fact that they know there's not a lot of upgraded weaponry. They don't want to walk into a chamber off shot, though. So this spike will get down, and Cribs will get the kills going with Jupiter Kid and Bus tag teaming to get Mercs off the board. So the spike is down four versus four. Chamber still alive. He's in play. Misses his shot. Gets called out probably by Joker. A tough spot to be in. Snakebite goes down. Lucy killed as is Jupiter Kid. Juno going to need a whole lot here. Joker and Jumo teaming up. And there is that thrifty we talked about. Maybe too passive were the Cougars in giving up site control there. It was a kind of a phony thrifty when you think about the fact that the chamber ultimate was there. But I like it. I mean, I like the aggressive play. Not a lot of teams doing that in Bergen's, uh, in Bergen's situation, I don't think. But it yields them a round win. So we'll see how this goes here. Cougar's going to be rebuying into the round. 8 9, highly contested map. And if you're tuning in just now, Bergen only needs one more map to win the week, win the night. Cougar's trying to force a map three. Jupiter Kid. Peeking here, doing a little bit of a, a little bit of a jump peek just to to know, not looking to actually take the fight. And the bulldogs just waiting to see if they can get the cougars to walk into something. Again, I I love the attack. The attacks have been varied. Oh, and that's pretty huge, actually. The fact that they, the knife spots out the breach, and now they've got all eyes looking in this direction. So just like we saw before, they're going to test this B defense. Welcome to my world. We breach. Aftershock goes down, but it was a little bit tardy. And the Viper ultimate going to make things a little bit strange. Jupiter Kid caught napping. Lucy and Bus are going to have to swing on Kiko. They do. Too suppressed. Too suppressed. The KO ultimate is out. Bus is looking to get aggressive, but runs right into Cribs. Looks the wrong direction. Juno alive here, but with no HP to speak of in the Viper ult. And Joker will be the last remaining. 9-9. Nine, nine. The Bulldogs have come back with a vengeance here. I can buy for you my treat. Need a drop. Thank you. So uh, something we haven't seen, which is uh, the Cougars getting a little bit adventurous here. They spot out a few. They know. And Juno hears some footsteps. So Jupiter, Kid, and Juno. And the Cougars, with this uh, aggressive posturing, are going to know that the A site is... A, A, A and mid are likely the, the targets here. Oh, wow, so adorable. Just ready for Bust to turn the Flashbang. Oh, looks away, but doesn't quite have the shot. 
right Spike there. Planted. Toxin screen down. Flash out. So adorable. I don't think I'd flash. Surely I'd flash that time. They know about him. Kiko trades it right back. And it, uh, is Juno going to be ready for this? Wow, Joker off to the side. Um, actually, lost track of him. It appeared that the Bulldogs did as well. Spike is down. The time is Toxins running correct. short. So I think that the Cougars will just take some rifles into the next round. Want to play for what will be round... Now 20. Now 20 will be coming up here. Joker gets that exit frag. Ten nine and highly contested is map number two. County, a complete switch up here, tempo-wise. They're gonna find the spike, by the way, which is huge. It doesn't much matter that they've given up the B site. Kind of interesting to see the Viper ultimate investing here. We know the spike is down. It won't be for long. They have the breach ult to play with as well. So adorable walks right into the crosshairs of Juno. They've, I mean, look at the Reina flanking on the backside here. They've lost track. Ooh, and here comes Joker, who I'm not sure how that happens. But this Reina, if anyone's going to turn this around, it's going to be Reina. And there it is, Kiko, at least the position now known. Four versus two. But Kiko, aggressive. The Bulldogs always think that they're in the round, but Joker makes sure that with three, that is very much a fantasy and not a reality. 10-10. Ten, ten. I, I, like I said, I gotta, I gotta hand it to the Bulldogs first. I mean, always aggressive, always looking for a round win, even when the advantage is not really theirs. And it's not like they're up 10-1 or something and can afford to get a little bit fancy. No, this is a 10-10 ten, ten game. So Chamber will have ultimate available and does actually use it, so. You want to play? Let's play. <clears throat> Jupiter Gid gets a shot here, but in the leg only. Lucy spotted out for just a moment by the Reina for sure. On B, Juno here on A. Oh my goodness, as the breach just slips underneath him. Absolute wild situation. And Mercs with the trigger discipline knows that. Oh my god, it even... and that's kind of sad. He couldn't even get the one tap headshot with all the time in the world. Crazy that Mercs is able to. Slide underneath the sights of Juno there. One suppressed. Spike will get planted. And with a man Spike disadvantage, planted. the Cougars will look to retake. They have some... Well, they have the Breach Ultimate. Not sure if this is the time. And Joker gets this kill here. They uh, Bus will get two. And now, suddenly, it's a four versus three. And the, the t time is of the essence. Breach Ultimate surely coming out here. The Viper gets hit by it, but Parmesan finds one. Viper's alive, biding their time here. They could just play time. Crips will, and my goodness, waited to the last possible second. Nobody looking underneath. What a play. Cribs was stunned, had no real choice but to wait, but didn't get and nervous at all. Unbelievable. What a play by Cribs. You have to tip your hat. It was heroics from Bus initially. Mark 
Kiko gets aggressive. Joker is down. Juno trades one back. Bust saw the barrel. The Vandal goes for a moment. One for one. As they go back and forth. Bust flashed up. Last player standing. And Lucy pushed on from behind, so the spike will ultimately get planted A. Spike planted. And I think this omen, uh, this rather, this Odin, being as expensive as it is, Jupiter Kid will just think about the save as the Cougars will need to win two to force OT. So, uh, so the Odin staying alive will improve their chances there. I think Bergen County um, assessing the situation correctly is going to go hunting here, knowing that if they can get this gun, will go a long way to improving their chances in this next round. But I don't think they're going to run into Jupiter Kid in time. Trevor! Match point. One round stands between Camden County. Giving up week, a week four victory, or week four loss, I should say, and forcing, well, continuing to stay alive to attempt to force overtime, an attempt to force a map three. Tested, and that's exactly what the Cougars needed, which is a, a first blood to get things started. Three members of the Bulldogs have made it on the site. Jupiter Kid with Spike an all-important kill. Mercs silencing Lucy from the side in a four versus two. Jupiter Kid. I don't think that he got a full flash there onto Mercs. Got flashed uh, by Mercs as well. Tight spot. Oh my goodness, Joker. Not getting tagged up there is huge. One enemy remaining. Spike looks to get put down by Joker with a quad kill. So we'll see. The Cougars excited about that one. 12 11 would be the scoreline. So one more round to, to force OT, and only one ultimate to play with for Camden County. Two would be the Viper and Sova for Bergen. Standard defense here. Oh, and Juno gets the round started in the exact way that he had to. Shut it down. Crib's gonna miss that jump, and Bus will hear that. They're gonna hear Bus, but Bus has the KO ultimate. Give up the site, retake with the KO ultimate. Could be the play. Welcome to my world. And there comes the KO ultimate. It's been put down. Juno has slipped the net. Bus goes down, but his ultimate, of course, will continue to function. Do they? Oh, wow! Mercs with the sense! To know that Juno would be behind that ult. May have heard him drop, I'm not sure. Caught him in a reload. Jupiter Kid with one. But he's gonna need a whole lot more. He's gonna get spotted. And the Bulldogs will pull that map out and will take map two and the week four victory. So both squads ultimately at the end of the day end up at three, three and one on the season. I think the Cougars clearly started to have a little bit of something heading into map number two. A little bit too, too little too late, maybe. Um, but it was the it, it, the Bulldogs ever aggressive. And I think that maybe also caught the Cougars off guard just a little bit. Um, 
so it was, it was definitely a pleasure to see, a fun team to watch. Uh, but I think we haven't seen the end of either of these teams. I'm sure that we will see both of them in the playoffs, more than likely, a handful more, three more weeks of the regular season to go. So, everybody, thank you so much for watching. This is Camden County College Cougar Esports signing off, and we will see you tomorrow night with some Counter-Strike 2.